Alexa, show me back garden camera. So there we go. This is the live feed of back garden camera. Fantastically working. If you are interested in making a system like that and having a camera which is very competitive in price, stay tuned. What's up everybody, Naresh here, welcoming you back into another video where today I have got my hands on this Bullet 2S, an outdoor security camera. Camera come with all bells and whistle fantastic features starting with the 110 degree wide angle lens, full HD 1080p resolution, work with the echo show, motion and sound detection, two-way audio communication, IP65 weatherproof rated, so you can use it outdoor as well as indoor. Now in terms of outdoor, it can work in minus five degree as well as plus 50 degree, what else you want. Also support micro SD card, which can go up to 128 gigabytes. Perfect nice vision till 15 meters. Not bad at all. Now considering this outdoor camera, which works with your Alexa show, and come with a very competitive price if compared with the high-end camera systems. Now, as usual, you know the drill. First, we're going to see what comes with this camera following with the installation of app and configuring this camera with our smartphone as well as Amazon Show. Concluding with the demonstration of this product and by the end of this video, you will have an idea that is this camera system for you or not. So, let's get right into it. Package includes one quick user guide which help you in terms of installation and configuring your camera with the smartphone device. Couple of screws to fix this camera on wall or ceiling. One 12 volt, one impaired power adapter. One camera reset pin to restore the camera to the factory settings. So now in last but not least, we have Bullet 2S outdoor surveillance camera. Now in terms of looks, it's all plastic, but it's IP65 rated which will class it to use it outdoor without any problem. Now in front of camera, we have lens covered with the six infrared LED lights and a microphone as well. Then down below, we have a speaker as well as a cloud compartment, which can be opened using the pin provided. Now in here, you have three different things, starting with the status indicator light row in there, reset for the factory store, and a micro SD card slot which supports up to 64 gigabyte of micro SD card. Now in terms of movement, let me demonstrate you what you should know about this camera. You can mount it wherever you want and you can easily move it how you like to do it without any problem, which will make it suitable to install it anywhere you want. You can go left, right, or anywhere you want guys, that's fantastic. Now the power connection is also waterproof once connected properly, but I would highly recommend to cover it up by using a heat shrink or a tape if you want to. Now let's go ahead and power up the camera first time. When camera get when camera get powered up first time, you're going to hear the notification as well as the status indicator light going into the red color. And once it's ready to pair up, you're going to see it flashing red. Now let's go ahead and install the app on our mobile phone. I'll be using Android mobile phone and you'll be opening up your Google Play Store looking for an app called Smart Life. Now within the search you need to see the first app which is Smart Life, Smart Living. Open it up and hit the install button. Now once app is successfully installed, open it up. Where in the app, if you don't have account with the Smart Life, you need to create one by clicking onto this register button and agreeing with the all agreements what they ask for. Now type in all the information which app is asking you for registering. Now once, now once you created account with the Smart Life and logged in, you will be on this home screen where first you need to click onto this add device button. And from here you need to select the device. We are in the security and the sensor where you're going to see the smart camera option, the first one on the top. Now, if you got a red light flashing, which we have at the moment of time, going to press next step. 
Now this particular camera at the moment supports only 2.4 gigahertz of Wi-Fi. You need to enter the password for the Wi-Fi which will be used by this camera to connect to internet. You need to type in the credential for your Wi-Fi. One password is entered. Click confirm and face the camera just right in front of it. Once you hear the notification, click heard the beep and just wait. If device is taking too long to connect to, this means you have to do it all again. Well, I seems to be having an issue with my internet router. So I use another one. So I'm going to connect using that one. So when you see this red light flashing on your camera, click onto the add device, select your camera from your list here, which will be in sensor and security option and the smart camera. Now, if you got the red light flashing, which we have, click next and select the router, which we're going to use for the connection of internet for this camera. You got it all, continue, continue and scan the QR code just like that. Once you got it and click continue and heard it. Now once camera is connected with the internet, you're going to see this steady blue light on it. And it seems to getting all information as well as you can see right in there. It might be possible that the internet router which I was using before had a bit of issue that's why it was unable to connect with this camera but once you got it all done you're going to see this right in here you know you need to give it a name to your camera I'm going to change this name actually call it the uh, back garden back G -A -R, back garden okay and save and complete the process now obviously there will be now obviously there will be an upgrade available for your camera i would highly recommend to go for it actually because it will make sure your camera is up to date in terms of it's all working in the security performance now just wait for it all to finish once it's all done it's good to go There we go, back garden camera is online as you can see right on the main screen of your app. Straight away go into that and voila, that's it. That's how easy and straightforward it is to add the camera into the app. Now looking into the app which is very easy and straightforward, not many options to go through. Straight away go down into the, your back garden camera where you're going to see the straight live view of your camera with respect to the signal strength of your Wi-Fi and what view you want it to have HD, SD, whatever you like. Now down below here, you've got a couple of options which are straightforward as well. One is the screen capture by click of a button, you're going to capture the screen or you would like to do the speaker talking actually, which is a two way communication. Then you have a video recording by press of a button you're going to record the video from the live of your camera straight on your mobile phone. This is all recorded on your mobile phone actually guys so you click off it off it's going to store it there. Now you can play back using the app as well. The playback can be also played from the SD card if once I installed it it can support up to 128 gigabytes. Now here we have option for the alarm if you enable the alarms if there will be motion or anything like that it will come up right in here and notify you as well then you have a cloud option if you'd like to purchase a cloud subscription while within the app you don't get any settings for your camera which makes it very simple and easy to use now to add this camera in your amazon show first you need to open up the amazon alexa app on your mobile phone now after that you need to click on to this tab which is menu tab and click on to the skill and the games. Now within the skill and the game you need to search for smart life app. Here you're going to see smart life skill click on it and click enable.
where it's going to ask you for the credentials. You need to type in all the credentials for the app you created before and click link now. After that, click on to Smart Life and link now. And authorize. There you go. Now go back to the Alexa home screen and click on to the Discover Devices. Now within the Discover Devices, you should be able to see there will be one camera discovered and click Setup Device. You can choose it into any group if you want. I'm going to skip this process and it's going to give it a name as well, which is a back garden. Set it up for you as well. It's all done now. Now you can go on to your Amazon show and see this camera through. Alexa, show me back garden camera. Okay. Straight away started working, configured without any problem whatsoever. So there we go guys. Now I have shown you how you can add this camera in your Android mobile phone as well as play the footage on your Amazon show as well. That's how easy and straightforward it is. And as you can see that within the storage timeline you can easily see where the footage has been recorded as well. Now. If I wanted to see in terms of more detail by clicking onto the notification by going into them, you can see more too. Right in here, you have got a motion detected. Now in here, you can see when the motion was detected and how it has been recorded as well. By just simply going into it, you can see that what was there. It actually captures the photo too at the same time. So that will be all guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you still have any more questions regarding the configuration or anything to do with the specification of this camera, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer any of your query about it. On that note guys, thank you again for watching this video. Shall see you soon into another one. Bye for now.